Hello and welcome to BR Cloud Radio. In this video we're going to work through the fundamentals of scheduling your cloud radio system. Start by going to the broadcast.radio portal and click on login. Once you've logged into the portal, click on dashboard and then manage schedule. Finally, confirm your Myriad Anywhere login. If you have more than one station, select the station you wish to edit the schedule for. This is the Myriad Anywhere schedule interface. It allows you to add and manage songs, links and adverts on your system, as well as mass import content, edit clocks, station rules and also schedule content. We'll assume we've already added some songs, some links and some adverts as those have been covered in a previous video. So let's jump straight to the edit clock section. In Myriad Schedule, each clock represents an hour of content and there are two different types of clocks available. Let's start with a simple clock. A simple clock is just a plan for a duration of content. So in this case, we're scheduling one hour of content and you can see the music and the links that will be used to schedule this hour. So if we wanted to adjust the ratio of any of these categories of songs, we just simply move the sliders further to increase the amount of content from that particular category. You can also do the same thing with your jingles. An advanced clock gives you more control over the structure of the hour. Here we can see an advanced clock. We still have this category goals for songs and links, but we also have a clock items tab now, which allows us to, to find the exact structure and content within the clock. Let's look at another example of a simple clock. This clock only plays rock music. You can see that the only category that is selected is the rock category, which means whenever this clock is used in the schedule, only rock music will be scheduled. So let's assign this clock to a few hours of the week so we can have a rock show. On the clock assignment grid, you have each hour of the day across the entire week, and you simply drag the clock in that you want to play. You can also select multiple hours and assign a clock that way as well. So here you can see we've got a rock show running from 12 till two each day in our schedule. The next thing we need to look at is some station rules. These allow you to define simple rules like how often an artist can be repeated or the time between plays of a specific song. There are many rules available within Myriad Schedule, so we won't be covering all of them here, but let's take a look at the rock category and see what rules we have assigned. Go to Station Rules and then click on Rock. Here we can see the rules that are being used for the rock show. In this example, we're using Myriad Schedule Plus, which is the enhanced scheduling system that comes with Cloud Radio Pro and Ultimate. One of the very simple rules we can look at is artist separation. Here we can see the artist separation is set to two hours. That means that within the rock category, an artist will not be repeated within two hours. There are many other rules that you can look at. However, we won't be covering them in this video. We do have other videos available on our website, which go into the rules in far more detail. Plus there is also written documentation that can be downloaded. Now that we have our rules and our clock sorted, we can actually schedule some content in our system. Click on Schedule Log, choose the time and date that you want to schedule, then click the Schedule button. Once scheduling is completed, you get a report throwing up any errors you may have or any unscheduled content. And you can also edit the log so you can check to see what's been scheduled and move things around or add or remove content as required. Thanks for watching this short video on Myriad Schedule and Schedule Plus. We hope that you will enjoy the other videos in this series and indeed the more in-depth videos available on our website.